Hey, what's up? What's up? This is Sharon Masarin, and you're listening to DJ Racer on the Freestyle Radio. You know what's up. What's up? What's up, Sharon? How's it going? Hey, DJ Racer. Really good. Happy to hear from you. I finally I get you on my show, damn it. <laughs> well, uh, this is the first time you asked for me, right? Um, I'm I'm gonna plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, but hey, it's better than never. So, thank you for having me tonight. Absolutely. Thank you for accepting the interview and doing this for us. So, tell us a little bit of what's going on with you, girl. And then we and then don't don't you think I'm going to forget about the question that people want to know about you and your pictures, but we're going to get we're, we're going to get to that later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um so yeah, I just finished releasing my fourth album, The One. And we uh, we decided to release every single song off the album as a single. So uh, I just released my 11th single, Take Me to Ibiza. And I, and I like that song because you have a couple of versions of it. Yeah, you got and you got a couple of versions of that song. The, the one I really like is is the EDM one. It's, it's, it's pretty tight. Oh, thanks. That's the Starlin Vega remix. Yep, and I'm going to be playing that in a second, but I want to hear what inspired you to kind of like switch over and do that type of genre with that type of upbeat. Um, you know, I I think a lot of it had to do with um, my producer who ended up becoming my husband within the last year. <laughs> um, I met Lenny last year um, halfway through the making of my album. I worked on the whole album in six months. And for this album, my main genre that I wanted to do was like classic old school vibes freestyle. That was like where I wanted to go. But when I met Lenny, he does like all different types of dance music. So he does like, you know, underground, like house, uh, techno, just all, all different types of stuff, EDM. And so when I linked up with him, I realized out of the stuff that he does i wanted to do like edm stuff with him and so when um all the songs that we ended up doing were different um oops, sorry that's your alarm to make sure i called you <laughs> <laughs> call racer call racer call racer, <laughs> call racer. <laughs> um yeah so so in the end we ended up doing like six songs together and we ended up doing like so many remixes together as a new duo called sarlin vega and um so yeah he'll he'll like come to me and like ask me like what do you think for this song and for for Ibiza I really wanted to do like a kind of EDM big room track and so that's what, what we did all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it and then we'll talk a little more I want people to hear it so they know what we're talking about all right cool so Thank here you. we go take me to Ibiza check it out <laughs> Take me 
Oh, 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 you want to go there. You know I can read everything, right? So that that song right there is fire. It just it's just it's just full Thank of passion you. and passion and energy. But you know, before we get to what we're gonna get, <laughs> her question was, why is it that she got DJ uh, Shirley's messages for not DJ Razors? Let me tell you something about about Sharon. This girl is like so super like FBI CIA private. If she's if you message her and she doesn't recognize who you are, forget about it. She's not going to respond. I mean, she just called me now and it says no caller ID. <laughs> I swear to God. This is like dealing with the FBI today. I swear to God. Where's Lenny? Is Lenny standing by? Is he Lenny's standing behind standing you? By. He's right here. I, hey, by the way, Lenny, I sent you a friend request and you haven't accepted it. Accept the friend request. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm uh, being overseen by the FBI. No, <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome all right let's get back to the music uh, and i still haven't even started on the pictures yet but talk to me about this record what inspired you to do a record that's so upbeat and a lot of energy this this particular remix you mean right yes Mm-hmm. um well it's just like you have to be inspired and you have to go like what I always ask myself, like, what do you want to create? What do you want to bring to the world? You know, it's like, it's kind of like your baby, you know, it's like everything you do, you're, you're representing yourself. And I just feel like, okay, what would make this song sound the best for me? And so I just, everything I want to do, I just put that out. Nice. And and, and this song also ended up in uh, uh, Extreme Mix Radio's EDM Top 10, correct? A, a top ten. This one, I don't. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I believe I was. I, I believe it was in DJ Lex's EDM uh, countdown. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so, okay, cool. So that that's good. Now, awesome. I do. Thank you, DJ Lex. I do want to ask you a question though. So you posted okay. a video, or, or or Lenny posted a video, and uh-huh. it was it was you performing. Okay. There was a guy in yellow. <laughs> Who in the world, but Jesus was that? Was it the one when I'm wearing wings? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, I think it was a, an old friend of mine, and he, like, had so much fun with the, what's that called, bottle service? It was bottle service. Man, he was, like, yeah. he was all, like, popping and locking. I was, like, that's, oh, that's awesome. that's D- Hung. I think that's Hung. Yeah, he's, like, a major dancer, and he kind of gets in a lot of shows, so, Yeah. I, I appreciated that. That was that when I saw him, you were like, well, you, cause you said, where's my dancing people at? He got up and he just started popping. I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. He was fun. All right. So the next song I want to talk about is, uh, if I could see you again, tell me a little okay. bit about that one. Um, if I could see you again was one of the two songs on the one, that one album that, I really tried my hardest to say, like, I'm going to do this for my freestyle fans, for the freestyle genre, and just kind of capture the love that I have for freestyle music. So it's one of two. The other one was Tears I Cry. And, um, you know, to make a freestyle song, I think, or actually the type of freestyle song that I was trying to make, you have to kind of really get into your emotions, you know? You have to get into your feels. And so that's what I tried to do with that song. Nice. And I noticed on, on your videos, you always say that before you, before or when you're headed to a concert, you always sing in the car. I think I do. Yeah, I think so. No, yeah, it, because you know what? I, I do my last minute, like, rehearsals in the car as I'm getting there. Nice, nice. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to play the song. If I can see you again, we'll okay. chat some more. Here we go. Thanks. All right. <laughs> 
Hey, what's up, what's up? This is Sharon Masarian, and you're listening to DJ Racer on the Freestyle Radio. You know what's up. We're going to talk about that drop, too. <laughs> okay. Music Lovers Radio. Lock it in. Now that was another banger right there. I mean, you just dropping them and dropping them and dropping them. So, seriously... Are you considering doing any other type of genre outside of the freestyle genre? Um, well, I like to, you know, focus on like dance music. So totally dance is the predominant thing. And if it feels like this should be freestyle, I do freestyle. If I feel like it should be house, you know, that's kind of always where I've gone. Um, and then sometimes well, one album, I kind of went a little bit more pop, a little bit more like more ballad. So it just kind of depends on where I'm at. Now, out of out of all your four albums, 
Because, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's just like kids. You know, everybody has a totally. favorite. Everybody has like a favorite one. <laughs> out of the four, out of the four, which one do you like the best? Yeah, honestly, I always think the newest ones always become my favorite. So, yeah, the last one always becomes my favorite. So now, right now it's the one. Nice. And, and in Tears I Cry, you, you're doing big things with that. I mean, you got, Thank I believe you. you got a show coming up next weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a show coming up next weekend. It's a pretty big show. It's going to have some big West Coast artists, some um, classic freestyle artists. Uh, I heard there's going to be Cover Girls, Dino, Jocelyn Enriquez, Aki Star, um, Spanish Fly, uh, Tony Moran, and Desire. So many artists that are going to be there joining me, so it's going to be fun. That's going to be, and that's amazing because tomorrow out here in California, we have the Freestyle Music Festival in old school. It's going to be nice, and Aki Star is going to be there, and, and oh, nice. Giggles, it's, it's going to be nice. I'll be there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Sweet. Yeah, I know. I, I was like, that's so cool. You're from Cali, too. Yes, ma'am. I'm from here. Yeah. Not, not that many. Every You know, I, I say this week after week, everybody that I interview is either from Florida or New York. So, right. Yeah, it's nice. So talk to me about what your future plans are with music i mean i know with an artist like you you gotta already be working on something that's coming that's gonna be coming out soon so mm-hmm. come on spill it tell us about it <laughs> you know honestly um the last year of, of music releasing a, one single with remixes every month it was pretty exhausting you know it was like it took a lot out of us um, we're so busy, not only with music, with life. Um, like I told you earlier, I had, I had gotten married, you know, within a month. We had, like, been engaged for a month and then this and this and that. It's just, like, life, you know? So it's, like, imagine making a remix, like, a remix pack every single month for 11 months and doing other things outside of that. So I don't know. One of my fans, he, his name is uh, Jalensis. He's so funny. He laughs because... I have such big hiatuses between albums. So it really depends on, you know, what I feel like the fans need, want, you know. And if it feels like it's just chill, then I might just chill too, you know. And then if I feel like, no, no, we want this, then sometimes I come out. But, Uh, um, you you know, I'm just kind of, it just depends. In this business, this is the way I look at Mm -hmm. it is in this business, if you're hot, you got yeah. You got to just stay relevant and keep it going. So get going, man. <laughs> get going. Stop being lazy. <laughs> you know, um, I'm trying to think. I think I think all artists are different. And I just, um, I'm like a weird artist. I love making music because I love making music. That's why I do it. You know, and it has to also come from a very pure place. And I could, you know, I could make five million songs if I wanted to, right? Just, just go do this, do that, do that. But I also have to give love and energy every single time, you know, even to to have interviews and do this. So it's like, um, I definitely want to give time to promote everything as well. Now, you know? now, do you have? songs that you actually have already made and they're in the Shavin vault that you just mm-hmm. sometimes feel like just pulling out and releasing that that i would want to release but they're just not released yet correct mm, i think so yeah yeah because i it, you know every time i talk to artists is artists always make a bunch of songs and yeah. some, sometimes they'll take a song they feel at the time is good to, good enough to release to release it. And then they'll take a song that they may not think is ready and they'll work on it some more and then release that one. So do you have anything in your library that you just con- you're going to continue to work on and maybe hit us with it later on? Yeah, there was um, one song that could have gone on the one um, and it was called Conversations. And I, I loved it, but it just kind of didn't seem like it fit 100%. Um, but it kind of went like, uh, let me see. You make me have conversations Oh, all the things I'd say to you But now you've gone, yeah You left me so old 
these words keep crushing through. You make me have conversations. All of the things that they hate you. You're listening to another, another, another DJ Racer exclusive. That's right, right there. That was an exclusive. When you when you release this record, I want credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> Debut first on uh, DJ Racer's Freestyle Radio. I love it. The seeds and that's beautiful. How can you not put that in the album? You know, I'm um, honestly, you have to like everything is not like a baby but it's like it has to be so perfect you have to go does this totally fit with every single thing and um it i feel like it has a life but it just probably will come out like you said you want more music right how can i bring more music if i don't have some something ready so maybe that's something that might come out because of you you know Thank i you. just have to have to feel that energy now, let, that now, needs to come out. Mm-hmm. Now let's talk a little bit about Lenny. You know, because Lenny's a <laughs> Lenny's a producer and, and he he works on mm-hmm. music. So, does he ever try to convince you to like, come on, let's do this, let's do this, come on? And, and you're like, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> like, do a style of music or just work on music? Both. Um, totally. He between he and I, he's way more like not not a workhorse, but he can. He can like produce music every single day, and and me um, sometimes I need Netflix and r- relax and, <laughs> and chill at the house. So um, so that he definitely could get me to work more and have fun. And so yeah, that's amazing. So now I want to talk about these pictures. Okay, so okay. so everybody check this out. So so Sharon. <laughs> Right. And Lenny, I hope you're listening to this kiss, man. Brother, let me tell you, I feel for you. So check it out. So, so she sends me nine pictures. Nine. Right. Now she tells me, Racer, pick the one that you like for the flyer. So, OK. So I go through all oh. nine pictures and I pick the uh-huh. one that I like on the flyer. So uh-huh. I, when I make a flyer, I send it to the artist every single time so they can approve it. So, of mm-hmm. course, I sent it to Sharon, and right away she's like, uh, what about this one? And I go, no, you said I could choose one. And she goes, I did, and it's nice, but what about this one? <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up using the picture she wanted. <laughs> but I, you, I told you, I said, you're free to do what you want. Didn't I? Yeah, but it was with the tone of typing. You said it. Ah, the tone. Oh, my gosh. You're too much. <laughs> you are so funny. I I didn't realize um, I didn't realize how funny you were. And I've had so much fun with you. The All your jokes. My gosh. You know, and, and, and it's funny because that's that's my sense of humor. I like to have a good time. Mm-hmm. And I don't I don't like having mm-hmm. the, the type of interviews where you go and you ask the same questions. I like to get down and personal. And that's why I'm talking mm-hmm. about Lenny and talking about you and talking about everybody because Lenny's part of your life. Right. So we, we, we got to give him shout outs and we got to give him props because he's got to deal with the way you pick pictures. So come on. <laughs> what, what do you need us to do? No, you're good. All Lenny needs to do is accept my friend, my friend request. That's all Lenny needs to do. <laughs> okay, done. done. He said. Awesome. Thank you. So let's talk about that. That that to me is the best song in the album, and it's and it's no disrespect because I love all of them, but Te- <laughs> yeah. Tears or Cry is is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Let's talk Thank a little you. bit about that one. Oh, talk about that one. Yes. Okay, yeah, so like I said earlier, um, Tears I Cry is one of the two freestyle songs on the album that, like, I definitely, I said to myself, I need to make a freestyle banger, do it, and that was, that was the second track that I wrote, and, um, and it's funny because I remember... I remember it was hard for me to express my feelings at that time. Um, I'm very open with my feelings. I'm very, uh, very expressive. I can, you know, if I, if I have close friends, if I, you know, I'm talking to somebody, uh, I could say like, oh, I feel so sad today or I feel so depressed or I feel so emotional. I can, you know, I can totally express it. But when I, when it was time for me to write the song, it was just like around that time, it was just a little bit hard for me. And, Suddenly it kind of came through and 
that's kind of like what the song is about. It's kind of like you have all of these emotions, you know, you have tears somehow, but they're just like not coming out in the way that, you know, you expect it to. They're not like falling, you know, dramatically or anything. They're like inside and that's just kind of it came out and I was just like, oh, I got it. This is the second freestyle hit for me to put on this album. That's amazing. So with that being said, mm -hmm. let's listen to it right now. Tears I Cry. Okay. And this is the Starla and Vega Future Retro Mix. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Listening to Vibe 24/7, banging, ba banging all the hits you love. Feel the vibe. You're listening to today's hottest music. Not just some of it, all of it. that song i really 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 love that song thank you 
And be, before we, before we begin, I want to I want to send a big shout out to Shirley Gentry. Say a lot of promotions. Uh, if if it wasn't for Shirley, I, I wouldn't be talking to Sharon today. So Shirley, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Shirley. <laughs> so it's thank funny. You, yeah. No, it's funny because I, I I I'm sorry, but I, I message Sharon and she doesn't reply, and I'm going shit. I mean, it's coming. It's it's close to showtime. I need an answer. I need an answer. So I go, hey Shirley, can you do me a favor and message her? And, sh and Shirley starts laughing. She messaged me within 30 seconds. Well, she already replied to me. <laughs> I know. So thank you, Shirley. If it worked for you, I wouldn't be able to get through here with DJ Racer. So thank you. That's awesome. But all jokes aside, I wanted to send a shout out to the Freestyle Radio, Vibe 24-7, Classic 407, Extreme Mix Radio. DJ Lex is on the chat room right now. He's amazing. He's awesome. UBM. Yes, thank you, DJ Lex. Canadian Freestyle Music and More, Bella Entertainment, Royalty yeah, Radio, and Say A Lot yeah, of Promotions. Yeah. So I want to yeah. give a shout out. Everybody's listening to this. I'm going to post it after. And you're, you're, you're an amazing person. Yeah, I know we joke around <laughs> and everything, but seriously, as an artist, you are amazing. I love your music. I, I love oh, your voice. And you. I want you to continue to go. That's why I'm so selfish. I'm like, make more music. <laughs> oh, I was asking you guys. I said, okay, just say one day i decide to make another album what would dj racer want a song about what would you want to like bump you know like what kind of lyrics what kind of vibe you know i like upbeat vibes i like a vibe mm. probably between the 120 and the 130 v bpms okay i, I love that i love up tempo kind of like what you did with the visa okay. that's that's the tempo i like because it's it's so much fun to mix you know, okay. when when a record slows down, it, you know, we could do what we do as DJs, but when it's a, right. when it's a fast up tempo beat, it's just, it's so much fun to mix into the next record. So keep giving us upbeat music, and it's also danceable. I love that, because that's the problem with a lot of the hip-hop and R&B music of today. You can mm -hmm. listen to it, and you can chill, but you really can't dance to it. So we need more danceable music. Okay, so you want dance, you want upbeat, energetic, something you can dance to. And it sounds like you like like feel good music too. Yeah, and I want to see Lenny in a video try to do a head spin. That'll be dope right there. That'll be dope. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. I, I can't make any promises. <laughs> all right, so f I want to remind everybody that all the songs you heard today are available on all digital platforms. Pick up a copy if you have any questions. Oh, by the way, tell everybody how they can get a hold of you and if they wanted to book you. Mm -hmm. You know, I always like you guys to give that information out so people know who, you know, who to contact and how to contact. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, so mainly you can visit me on my website at www.sharon.net. Um, I'm on Facebook. You, you guys can find me through DJ Racer. Um, I'm, it'd probably be better if you guys follow me because it's hard for me to add everybody because uh, my limits are like a little bit small. So if you could add, either follow me or um, add my music page and Instagram. I'm on Instagram. And, and then for bookings, um, you can just go to my, um, to my, to Ocean Dream, Ocean Dream and just message them through that, through that page which is Ocean Dream Records on Facebook. Awesome. And take it from somebody that has experience. Send her a message and let her know who you are. Because if she doesn't know who you are, she will not respond. Zero, zilch, nada. Like, I like nothing. So it's going to be like crickets. So make sure you let her know who you are so she'll respond. Or ask Shirley. Or you can ask Shirley and she'll respond within 30 seconds. That's so funny. That's hilarious. Yes. All right, so she's very so, true. But I'm very good at my wall if you are already on my page. Well, I'm already, like I, I was I already on your page. Hmm? I was already on your page. <laughs> 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 I'm a, I, I, you know, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep giving you a hard time about this. You know, I, I'm not gonna let this go. <laughs> I like that. That's what I like about you. And then, and then she tells me, oh, I almost forgot. Then she tells me, I'm going to make you a drop. And I'm like, I always like to have a drop to play before the interview. She literally makes me wait 30 minutes before the interview starts to send me the drop. I'm like, 
they, you know what? You just made it. You just barely made it. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was so good. It's so funny. We had, uh, DJ Racer and I had these kind of um, like inside jokes, and one of them was like he because he didn't have my drop he didn't really know how to pronounce my name and so then because uh, i didn't give him the drop he's like okay I, i'll just call you something else and i'm like oh no that's why i better do the drop right now <laughs> i said i'm gonna call a sharing a macaroon <laughs> i know macaroons are good though so i would have been okay with that <laughs> no i'm just kidding <laughs> that's amazing so go ahead you know what you know what i want you to do i want you to go ahead and use this time and give a okay. shout out to anybody and everybody you want to send a shout out to. Okay. Well, I want to first of all thank every single one of you guys that are here with us tonight, chatting with us. You, your guys' support has been with me this entire uh, time that I've been promoting the album, and I, you know, the even to go and release new freestyle music, I, I wouldn't have even have done that without all of your guys love throughout all the years so thank you so much you're it was because of you guys that we've charted almost every single time like all these 11 singles because of you guys and like i said if i have the vibe that that's what you guys want for the future i'll definitely you know think about bringing more music so thank you every single one of you all the um freestyle radio and all all the radio stations all the djs all the promoters every single one of you guys I, i've had so much fun this year and for dj racer i hope to bring another album in the future thank you maybe you should just bring out just before the holidays bring out the one song you you sang for us and and, and then we'll be good for the year okay yeah totally <laughs> but remember i get credit for it i get I, <laughs> at least even in the little tiny little letters Hey, I'll yeah. take it. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> but seriously, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. You were so much fun. Thank you. You're, again, you're an amazing artist, and I hope you keep going and keep giving us a lot of music so we can continue to play it. And uh, awesome. I'm looking forward to what's going to come for your future, and it's going to be fantastic. And, you know, this goes out to you and to Lenny both. If you guys ever thank need anything from the station, Lenny, mm -hmm. if you want to use us to promote anything you got work you're working on and got it, just let myself or Shirley know. One of us, you you probably better go on with Shirley. With Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, let us know and, and and you know we're there for you. We got you. Thank you. You know we're, we're family now, so anything you need, thank just let you. us know. All right, thank you, DJ Racer. Thank you so and much. You have you, a Shirley. great weekend. All right, thanks everyone. Love you guys. Have All a right. good night. You too. Okay, bye. bye, bye. That was a lot of fun. I want to thank everybody who tuned in to that one. Uh, Shirley, once again, thank you. I wouldn't know what I, 